morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to my MIT Makers Portfolio. I want to tell you about my project named Drifties. Basically, I make sleepers from used tires, thus fighting against global tire pollution, since it's a major modern ecological problem, as you might have heard. Now that we have the concept of the project, let's jump straight into the process of its creation. First of all, we need to cut off the outer part of the tire from both sides because it contains a metal wire that prevents this tire from any possible bending. As you can see, the tire has become much more flexible without these two parts. That's why we can start cutting this tire into pieces of sleepers and, according to my calculations, since it is 95 millimeters wide, it would perfectly fit leg size 41, which is equal to US men size 9 or US women size 10. In order for my work to be accurate, I'll be using this factory produced foot pad, which imitates a real 41 sized leg. The sleeper's basis is ready, so let's head to my friends at shoe school to figure out the strap's length and shape. I am currently in the Kasigin Russian State University, Russia's most famous textile organization. Artisan Botier, the shoe school, is based in the heart of this unique place. I made all the measurements on the shoe pad, since only then the strap's shape will be devised correctly. As you can see, I glued the shoe pad with tape, so that later, after working out the position of the strap on the shoe pad, I can cut out the strap's precise model for this shoe size. Since I have figured out the strap's shape for one shoe size, I can now upload it in a computer program called ESCO using a digitizer. This program can project the strap's shape for all food sizes using only one set of strap models. Now, I need to run the program and the laser machine will carve out the strap's models for all food sizes. Therefore, all I have left to do is cut the straps according to the models and sew them to the shoe. Here's my creation, my brainchild. It actually looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Well, for me, it obviously does. So, thanks a lot for your attention, and I really look forward to continuing inventing at MIT, and hope to see you all during my freshman year.